everybody and welcome to our fourth lecture on compressible flows. Today we're going to talk about stagnation and characteristic condition. Consider a moving fluid that is decelerated isentropically to reach zero speed. This is the case of a gas at rest contained in a high pressure reservoir. This also happens at the leading edge of an airfoil. Then the thermodynamic state is referred to stagnation state. The stagnation state is denoted in this course by a subscript zero. The simplified form of energy equation for a steady one-dimensional flow with no heat addition across two regions 1 and 2 of a control volume is given by the following expression. For a calorically perfect gas, H equals CPT. Therefore, we have the following general equation relating the local and stagnation states. Knowing that Cp equals gamma r over gamma minus 1 for an ideal gas and introducing the Mach number in the last expression, we obtain this final equation. This important relation is valid in any adiabatic flow, including a flow with entropy generation as long as there is no heat exchange. Thus, the total temperature, T0, remains constant across the shock wave where the entropy increases. Furthermore, for an isentropic process, the following equations hold. In general, if the flow field is isentropic throughout, the stagnation properties are constant at every point in the flow, and then we have the following relations. It should be noted that the temperature equation holds for adiabatic flow, whereas the pressure and density equations contains the additional assumption of isentropic flow. In the case of a flow having a shock wave, the stagnation pressure and density are constant only before and after the shock, but not across it. These equations also demonstrate the powerful influence of Mach number in aerodynamic flow calculations. It's very important to note that the ratio of stagnation and static values are functions of local Mach number only, assuming gamma is known. The same way we can define a reference state where the velocity is zero, we can define a state where the velocity is such that the Mach number equals one. Consider an arbitrary flow field in which a fluid element is traveling at some Mach number m and velocity u at a given point p. The static pressure temperature and density are denoted p, t, and rho, respectively. Now, imagine that the fluid element is adiabatically slowed down if the Mach number is greater than 1, or is speeded up if the Mach number is less than 1, until the Mach number reaches the sonic state. This imaginary situation of the flow field when a real state in the flow is brought to sonic state is known as the characteristic condition. The associated parameters are denoted with an asterisk. We can also define a characteristic Mach number such as m star equals u over a star. The sonic variables can be calculated based on the static variables u, p, t, rho, a, and so on. This calculation is carried out simply by applying the 1D Euler equations between the real state of the fluid and the sonic state. We will focus here only on the calculation of the sonic speed of sound A star in order to deduce an expression for the characteristic Mach number. Starting from the energy equation and replacing Cp equals gamma r over gamma minus 1 and A equals square root of gamma rt, we obtain the following equation. Let condition 2 be the one where m equals 1. Then the flow velocity is sonic and u2 equals a star. The previous equation becomes the following. The quantity a star can be computed at any point at the flow, even if it's not really adiabatic. In this case, if the flow is non adiabatic from a to b, then a star a is different than a star b. On the other hand, if the general flow is adiabatic throughout, then A star is a constant value at every point in the flow. Dividing both sides of the last expression by u1 square, we obtain 
the relation linking m and m star. We note that if m equals 1, then m star equals 1. If m is less than 1, m star is less than 1. And the opposite holds. For m very big, m star tends to the value of the square root of gamma plus 1 over gamma minus 1. The use of characteristic quantities is very useful when studying supersonic flows in nozzles. Now let's do a simple exercise. In a flow around an airplane wing, the following measurements of Mach number, pressure and temperature are made. Assuming the flow is isentropic, compute P0, T0, P star, T star and A star. Remember that we don't need to have an isentropic flow to evaluate the stagnation temperature T0 in an adiabatic flow without heat exchange but with the possibility of increasing the entropy through irreversible process, T0 is a constant of the flow, and we have the following relation between stagnation and static temperature. The hypothesis of isentropic flow is necessary to derive that P equals a constant times rho to the power of gamma, and it yields the following expression. In the particular case where M equals 1, the temperature in the sonic state is related to the stagnation temperature by the following relation. And we find that in an adiabatic flow, the sonic temperature is also constant. For example, across a shock, the temperature T star is conserved. In an isentropic flow, the sonic pressure is given by the following equation. Finally, we can compute the value of A star. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to visit my website for more videos and exercises. See you in the next lecture.